those who voted for William Ruto in last year's presidential election are cursing the day they woke up very early in the morning to cast their votes for William Ruto. In several locations, we have seen the ground in the Kalenjin Rift Valley and on the mountain complaining that William Ruto has abandoned them. And on social media, some of William Ruto's strongest supporters who are campaigning for him in 2022 have also made U-turns and they are now cursing William Ruto. I want us to have a look at a person called Kimuzi. Kimuzi was a staunch Ruto supporter in 2022. In fact, on the eve of 2022 presidential election, this is what he shared out. Kimuzi, thus 8th August 2022, one last time before Nilale, vote yellow, vote William Ruto and witness freedom coming. May the best team win. The team is yellow. Ruto the fifth. That was Kimuzi on 8th August 2022. So he was urging Kenyans to vote for William Ruto for freedom to come. Today, this is what the same person is saying. Kimuzi, Ruto is a clueless, dumb, narcissistic, psychopathic, liar who thinks he's a leader, a thieving personality with a scrap of a brain. His head is full of rusty ideas and he need constant checkup. We are being led by a madman. We elected a serial cheater as president. Fuck. Thus, 7th February 2024. That's today. The person who was really supporting Ruto, talking of freedom coming, he's now calling Ruto a madman, narcissistic, psychopathic, clueless, dumb, with a scrap of a brain. That was a Ruto supporter. I want us to put this into perspective for Kenyans to understand what's happening here. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's continue. The question I want us to answer in this video why is Ruto losing support that fast? And it's interesting that he's losing support amongst his staunch supporters. It's expected that a popularly elected leader, especially a president, should not lose support that very fast. As much as he might be growing and popular. His strong supporters should not be dumping him that fast the way we are seeing with William Ruto. What's happening here, ladies and gentlemen? The first reason, Kenyans never loved William Ruto in the first place. They voted for him out of hate for other leaders. And in this case, Raila Odinga. So they never voted for Ruto because they believed in him, but they voted for him out of emotions and out of hate for Raila Odinga. They never believed in him in the first place. That's something coming out very clearly. So William Ruto should know that those who voted for him, a majority might have just voted for him because of their hate for Raila Odinga, not that they loved him. Secondly, it's possible William Ruto was not popularly elected in the first place. 
Chebukati might have announced a wrong candidate as the winner. And I'm saying that because across the country, Kenyans are crying all over, cursing William Ruto. So it's possible he was not popularly elected. He lost that election. Chebukati announced the loser as the winner. Somebody popularly elected cannot be that unpopular within that very short time. It's not possible. The third reason, William Ruto got power through lies and propaganda. Kenyans who are blind at that time are now waking up to that reality. Some of us, even before the elections, we were warning Kenyans and telling them that in the event you elect so and so, expect this and that and what we were warning kenyans the things are happening in ruto's regime so it's also coming out very clearly that kenyans are waking up to the reality that ruto lied to them they were blind they are now waking up to that reality Another reason why Ruto is losing popularity that fast, Ruto has changed. And I'm saying he has changed because maybe those who voted for him are now seeing him differently. He's not the same William Ruto who was campaigning in 2022. He painted a different image from the one he's now painting today. So, I will say he has changed to those who supported him. Not really changing, but those who supported him are seeing as if he has changed. But from where I said, Ruto has not changed. The same William Ruto of the early 90s is the same William Ruto today. It's only that Kenyans are politically naive. They can't read things between the lines. So maybe they are rebelling because they think he has changed, but he has not changed. Above all, as I conclude, the sentiments also raises some issues worth highlighting on. Is Ruto mentally sound? That's a discussion that Kenyans should now take seriously. Is William Ruto mentally sound? Because some of his pronouncements paints a person who is disturbed, a person who may not be okay. So is he mentally sound? That's an issue Kenyans should deliberate on and take seriously. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe give this video a like and to those who watching us outside kenya drop a comment let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from if possible subscribe give this video a like let's meet in our next analysis thank you god bless you god bless kenya have your people, your own people, barely making ends meet, naked on the streets, no food, no nothing, and they are talking about, I mean, going to, you want to come and teach Rwanda what to do or change what is in Rwanda, with what? You know, for them, once the pocket is full, for, for them, the rest of the country, their own people can go to hell. That's what we see around. Instead of thinking of changing what is in Rwanda, why, why don't you change what is in your own country? First of all, that is not correct. Secondly, it is even impossible for you to do.